back to the freaking channel, Walking on Water. In today's episode, this how-to episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how I brine up my favorite killer kokanee corn. And let me tell you guys, it's been a good season so far. All the kokanee have risen up from the bottom of the lake about 130 feet, and now they're sitting on the surface. They are zero to 20 feet right now. There's tons of people out there fishing for them. And I know there's a lot of different variations of corn that you can use, but I'm telling you, this one is truly tested, and this thing destroys kokanee. Like, subscribe, and share. Please smash the like button, leave some comments. Let's get these subscriptions pumping up, okay guys? Let's get right into it. All right guys, so the ingredients we have with us today that you are gonna need for this corn, for my corn recipe that absolutely kills kokanee. You're gonna need some fire brine. I like red or rose colored. This is rose right here, okay? As you can see, I got a little bit left, so I've been out there killing them, okay? Kosher salt, a little bit of kosher. Procure slamola powder, okay? This is the stuff right here, okay? Slamola powder. Corn, okay? I preferably, as long as it's a whole kernel corn, I don't care what kind of corn because I strain and you will see how um, I reduce all the moisture within the corn anyway, so it reabsorbs, okay? In one container. One container. Okay? So, let's move all this stuff off to the side here. Okay? Now, we're gonna start with the corn. Strain your corn first, okay? So we're gonna open it up. Pretty easy, just like that. I'm gonna take it over the sink. Okay? Straining it. Just strain the corn until all the juice is out. Okay. Then, bring over a paper towel or a towel. Throw what corn you're gonna brine. We're just gonna do a little bit for now, okay? Wrap it up in the paper towel. Don't push extremely hard, but we wanna strain and drain all the water off of this corn, all the juices, all the liquid. So when we dump it into our container and we fill it back up with liquid, all that liquid reabsorbs into the corn and makes it, you know, just puffy and pop. So when it's under the water, those coconut are grab. You know? Let's go. Oh, okay, so we have our corn. Boom. Okay. It's strained. Now we're gonna grab our container and fill it up. You can obviously you don't have to use your hand. You can use a spoon or something like that, okay? For video purposes, I'm gonna do this much right here, okay? Got our corn that's dry, see? Dry, no juice, in the container, okay? Now, the first thing that I do to this corn is salt it. Why do I salt it? Because salt will tighten that corn up and make it way more durable in the water. I do this with all my brines. When I brine up herring, anchovies, even prawns, I throw salt on them to make that bait sturdy and firm while it's fishing in the water, okay? Doesn't have to be a ton of salt. I like to give it one little bit of a layer over the top, okay? And then shake it up, okay? So that's all for the salt. You can use, if you want an exact estimate, I would say two tablespoons of salt into this much corn or even a little bit more corn, just so you can see the salt stick into each piece of corn, okay? Now, slamola powder, okay? This is one of the bread and butter pieces to this corn, okay? So you can get it online, Procure, um, most bait and tackle shops. I doubt Walmart carries it, but you can 100% get it online, procure.com, or you can go to your local bait and tackle shop and I guarantee that they carry it, okay? I won't guarantee it, but most of them do, okay? With the slamola, just like the salt, I put about a tablespoon of this, although the last was two. So we're just gonna do a nice little layer, okay? A nice little layer over the top. See that? Nice little layer over the top. Give it a shake, just like so. Okay, shake it up nice. 
that powder and that salt is drying this corn out. It's pulling the rest of the moisture out. It's tightening it up. It's firming it up. Perfect, okay? Then, rose colored fire brine, okay? This fire brine is made by Potskis. And I know Potskis makes the fire corn, but I like the fire corn. It does the job. It does the job. But the culmination of hours and years spent on the water, I've come up with this brine and it absolutely kills them, okay? I can't keep them off the hook. Shake it up. Okay, now I like to use a ton of excess liquid as I'm brining the corn. All of this stuff is gonna be, all of the liquid will be drained off, you know, after we set it in the fridge for the 24 hour time period that we're gonna talk about next, okay? So you dump your fire brine in there, give it a nice good shake so it's all mixed around. You have your salt in the bottom, you can see the layer, okay? Now, let's move this out of the way. Okay. Okay, final product. This is not the final product, okay? Now we're talking about it. This needs to sit in the refrigerator overnight prior to fishing or even prior to using, okay? But once this, once this sits in the refrigerator for 24 hours, then you strain off the rest of the water and that will be your final product. So let's go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and we will pull it out in 24 hours. All right, guys, it has been 24 hours. Well, it's been a little over 24 hours if I'm 100% honest. Um, got a little bit busy, so it's been about 30 hours. Um, the salt is still, as you can see, down on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna drain this out and get a good look at it, okay? So let's go ahead and dump the water out of this. or the brine now, I keep saying water, but it's definitely brine. Yes, okay. As you can see, the salt's still in there. The corn, can you hear that? Is firm, hear that? How it's hitting the side and clunking off. The corn is firm, okay. Keep it mixed up in that salt, just like so. I'm telling you guys, this is the kokanee killer corn. You have got to try this. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you guys so freaking much for tuning in to Walking on Water. I will see you in the next one.